and if we play it again, we can see that it jumps to like a full screen view every so often. And that's when Cypress is taking the screenshots that we've configured it to do. Hey folks, Dane here. In this video, you'll learn how to take screenshots and videos of your Cypress Cucumber test runs. If you're interested in getting early access to this kind of content, watch till the end and I'll tell you how to catch me live, where you can watch, ask questions and make suggestions. So, some of you watched my video on adding screenshots of failed tests to uh, the generated Cypress Cucumber reports and asked if there was a way to take screenshots at other times. So let's have a look here at the documentation um, pages for Cypress. So this is the screenshots and videos section of the Cypress documentation. And you can see that Cypress captures screenshots of test failures automatically, and we're already making use of that in our reports. But we can also manually capture screenshots we can record a video of the entire run and we can add some other options along the way if we need them. So basically the way to take a manual screenshot is we use sci.screenshot and we place that in our step definitions wherever we want to take a screenshot. Once we do that, they'll be stored in the screenshots folder that we have set in our configuration and we'll be able to access them just like we access the screenshots that are taken at the end of a failing test run. Videos can be recorded. We can turn uh, that option on and they get recorded into the videos folder, which is um, set in the Cypress configuration. And we can have a look at a recorded video. There are other options that you can read through yourself and I'll put the link to this page in the description below so you can jump straight to it. Uh, but there is one specific thing that we want to look up in the screenshot API. So the Sci screenshot function call. So this is it right here and I'll link this page as well. But basically we can pass a file name to this function and then the screenshot that's taken will be saved under that file name. Okay, so let's put into practice what we've learned. Let's add an after test step that will take a screenshot for all of the passing tests because Cypress automatically takes screenshots for failing tests. But in this example, we're going to take a screenshot at the end of all the passing tests. So the way we do that is we go to the support index file and we could file away this function into another module and import it in, but for the sake of this tutorial, let's just put it straight in here. So I'm gonna just paste some code in and then we'll walk through it. So what we're doing is we're saying after each test, let's go and inspect the test state. So this is, this is the, um, the value of all of the tests that have run during our execution. And we can actually look at whether the test passed or failed and, and other information in there as well. So let's get the specific test that is the current scenario and the current step, which in the case of a passing test will be the last step in the file. In the case of a failed test, it will be the step that the test failed on. So let's check the steps status and make sure that it's not failed. And if it is not failed, then we'll take a screenshot. So sci.screenshot and then the name of the file that we want to save. So our file name is going to be the feature name, then two hyphens, then the current uh, scenario's name, and then past. And the reason why we're doing it like this is because this mirrors the same scenario where tests fail. And so we'll have um, basically the same format for past and failed screenshots. So let's save that and then let's run our tests. And we can run our tests by running npx cypress tags run. This will run all of our tests. And while this is running, I can say, if you are enjoying this kind of content tutorial so far, please consider hitting the like button. It will let YouTube know that you enjoyed the video it will let me know that you enjoyed the video and I will continue making these kinds of videos for you.
and all of our tests have run and passed. Let's scroll up a little bit and we can see that one, two, three, four screenshots were taken during this feature. Toggler to do dash dash completed to do pass dot PNG and the other ones there for all the other scenarios. So we know all of our uh, tests passed so we can assume that a screenshot was taken for each of the scenarios. So we can browse to the screenshots folder and we can see that filed away under the name of the feature file are our screenshots. And so there's the screenshot taken at the end of adding a to-do. We added the first example to-do. Here is a screenshot taken at the end of completing a to-do. And we can see that that to-do was completed. And it's got the strike through there. And here's the one taken at the end of completing all to-do. So we can see that all three are in the correct state. Now let's see how we can add a screenshot to any step within our tests. So what we're going to do is use what we learned in the tagging tutorial. So let's go to the add a to do feature. Let's add the at focus tag to our scenario. So now when I run the tests, I'll focus onto this tag and we'll just run the single test. Now, what we want to do is take a screenshot when we navigate to the home page. That's our scenario that we're going to uh, implement now. So when we navigate to the home page, let's take a screenshot. So what we can do is we go to the common folder and we go to the steps JS because this is where the I navigate to the home page step is defined. And we're just going to say right here, sci.screenshot. Let's give it the name home page and it'll put the PNG uh, extension on the end for us and it will file it away in the folder that runs this step. So now we can do npx cypress tags run passing in the tags equals focus uh, environment setting and it'll just run this single test and that single test has uh, single feature has run and Two tests were inside there, two scenarios. They both passed. And let's look at the output here. So we can see a homepage.png was saved here, and then a homepage1.png. Because there were two scenarios that ran, and the file name that we gave Cypress was duplicated, it made it so that they were unique by adding a number on the end. So let's go and have a look at those. So we're looking at the add a to do feature folder inside Cypress screenshots add a to do. And we can see there's a home page screenshot and a home page one. They both look the same because they were both happening at the same point. So we're back on the Cypress documentation here. And I just want to go down to the section where we're talking about videos. Cypress records a video for each spec file when running tests during Cypress run. Videos are not automatically recorded during Cypress open. Video recording can be turned off entirely by setting video to false from within your configuration. So let's go and have a look at that video configuration. Videos. So video by default is true. Whether Cypress will capture a video of tests run with Cypress run. Cool, so in our previous example, we ran Cypress using Cypress tags. So MPX Cypress tags run, that is the equivalent of Cypress run in Cypress Cucumber world. So we should be able to go to the videos folder right here, videos, and there is the adder to do.feature.mp4 file. This re was recorded during the last test run that we executed, we can actually have a look at that. Here is the recorded test. And it's done. And we can see that all tests passed. You would have seen during this video, and if we play it again, we can see that it jumps to like a full screen view every so often. And that's when Cypress is taking the screenshots that we've configured it to do. If you want to know next time I post a video, 
please hit the subscribe button. I stream software development on Twitch. So head on over to twitch.tv slash daneharnett, drop a follow, and ask questions next time I'm live. I tweet dumb puns and dev stuff at twitter.com slash daneharnett. Thanks for watching, and see you later.